Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So Dark Season 3 is finally here. So this is one of our most anticipated series of this year. And both Seasons 1 and Season 2 are one of my favorite series of all time. And when it comes to time travel, I think it's the best series out there. Now before I get into this review, if you have not seen Seasons 1 or Seasons 2, then I highly, highly recommend that you go watch those first. Because a lot of this review will be referring to things back in those seasons. And there's definitely going to be spoilers there. And for this review of Season 3, I'm going to try to keep this as spoiler free as possible. However, if you don't want any type of spoiler related material at all, then definitely go watch Season 3 first. And then come back to this review. And maybe in a future episode, I will be doing more of a spoiler filled Season 3 review. And so getting into this review... This Season 3 actually takes place directly after the events of Season 2. So if you remember at the end of Season 2, Martha gets shot by Adam. Jonas is freaking out. And then another Martha shows up. And Jonas is asking her, what time are you from? But she's asking, instead of what time, what world? <laughs> Mind blown. Because now, there's going to be a parallel world and parallel universes. So that's really a wonderful cliffhanger to end off Season 2. But now we're here with not only a time travel element, but also parallel universes. So getting to the thing that I absolutely loved about Season 3 are the same things that I loved about Season 1 and Season 2, starting off with the actual story itself. Now Season 3 still keeps all those time travel elements that we really loved about Seasons 1 and Season 2. You know, they're going back and forth between different time periods. We're learning a lot more in this final season with these characters. But now we have this new element of this whole parallel world, parallel universe. Because this Martha is not the same Martha that Jonas knows. And so in this season, without giving too many things away, this whole parallel world universe is more focused on Martha versus the existing world that we know of Jonas. And at the same time, we also have a new protagonist or baddie as well. Very similar to season 1 and season 2 where you kind of thought, well, Noah is the main bad guy. But then it might be Claudia, she's the main villain. And then we find out it's Adam, you know. And so this final season does that as well. But with a lot different character or maybe a similar character. And you see what I mean when you watch that. And the very first episode of this season, they do spend a lot of time introducing you to this new world. So maybe at first you're going to be really confused. But as you're watching it, you realize that even though things are different, they are very similar as well so not everything's exactly the same but then again it's not so different where you would think well i don't understand this world and so by the time you get done with season one and heading into season two you'd be very familiar with this additional world so the story itself still has a lot to offer when it comes to time travel explaining all these events that are going on and with this whole element of a parallel world universe it really makes it a great story overall and then the second thing that I absolutely enjoyed about this series is, of course, the characters. So in this final season, practically every single character from season one and season two, they are back here. Plus they introduce some new characters or maybe expand upon some of the existing characters that you knew as well. And I think all of this was done exceptionally well. Uh, the characters were things that I really enjoyed a lot about this series. It kept me you know, wanting to watch these characters evolve, trying to figure out who they are, what they are, how they're connected. All those things are still here and you still feel really connected to all of these characters from the main characters to side characters, just everybody in this world. I think they did a wonderful job in keeping the characters true to who they are, but at the same time expanding and also closing up a lot of their character story and evolution. And so that is the second thing that I enjoyed about it. Another thing that I really enjoyed about this is the overall production quality. Dark Seasons 1, Season 2 had really high production quality, fantastic special effects, everything else that goes along with it. And Season 3 has this as well. And there was really only a few scenes out of Season 3, specifically near the end, that the special effects weren't as great as I would like. But overall, this is a very high quality production, great cinematography, music, color, everything. You know, So if you're the type of person who loves a wonderful visual and audio experience, you will get that here with Dark Season 3. And then the final thing that I enjoyed about Season 3 is the overall world building. You know, this goes into a lot with the story and characters. 
but I really like the fact that since they did introduce this parallel world and universe, it expanded it even larger and it made things a lot more interesting. And so the whole world of Dark is something that, you know, even though this is the final season, I hope they revisit this and expand upon it. Maybe in some side stories or maybe, a, I guess, pseudo sequel to Dark, but it doesn't necessarily have to be Dark because I really did enjoy this world that the writers, the directors have actually built. And it is a world that can continually be expanded upon, especially with this whole nature of parallel worlds and universes. So those are just some of the main things that I absolutely loved about Dark Season 3. Very similar to Season 1 and Season 2. Everything that I really, really enjoyed about those series, it's here as well. And then they add some extra on top of that. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So now let's get into the things that I did not like about this because Dark Season 3 has a lot of pressure because Seasons 1 and Seasons 2 were just such an amazing breakthrough type of series. It's really hard to follow it up with something that ties everything together. But with all of that being said, I would say the weakest link in Season 3 has to be the ending. You know, everything else leading up to that, I absolutely loved it. It stayed tried and true to everything that I loved about Dark Season 1 and Dark Season 2. And it kept me guessing, you know, kept expanding upon things, but it, it made you ask more questions. But when it got to the end, uh, this was my worry, you know. And the worry, at least for me, whenever you're trying to do something that deals with time travel, parallel universes, and so forth, is you might have a cliche type of sci-fi ending where, you know, things aren't as important as you thought they were and then everything that happened leading up to that you know it's just kind of devalue it you know and I'm not going to try to go into specifics on that because I don't want to give anything away but if you've ever seen any other sci-fi parallel universe movies or shows you'll get what I mean you know and and unfortunately Dark Season 3 falls into that where at the end I was just like okay that explained it but at the same time, the characters that were the centerpiece of this ending and how it ended, uh, I don't think it was as satisfying as I would have really wished it was. And I'm not sure of what other ways it could have done it, you know, because there is so many things within this story. It's really complex. But in my opinion, that's really the only weak link that I saw with Dark Season 3. Everything else... It was near perfect for me, very similar to Seasons 1 and Season 2. And so I was hoping that it would get an ending that would make this the best series, specifically for sci-fi time travel of all time. So it's almost there, but not quite. So that's really it for this overall review of Dark Season 3. And there's still a lot of things that I want to talk about, but I want to save that for a future episode where I could talk about spoilers. And so when it comes down to it, if you enjoyed Dark Seasons 1 and Season 2, definitely watch season three and if you haven't seen it watch all of it you you really will get a lot out of this and at the same time it's one of those type of series that's really going to make you think a lot about what's going on reality uh the characters worlds there's so many things that it makes you think about and it does it in a really clever way and so if you actually had any thoughts on this whether it's season three or any of these other seasons of dark be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you want to see more of my sci-fi reviews, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me, and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group, where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.